assalamu alaikum dear candidates or dear students i am hina today i am here with another the most important topic of statistics that is the non parametric test ppsc test mainly comprises on get it a portion of uh, everything and almost 5 to 6 questions comes from the non parametric test portion so i already told you that to, before going towards the larger portion of the statistics first try to learn or uh, memorize the little portions of uh, you know, statistics like non parametric statistics like vital statistics like sampling distributions um, like a distribution daily one distribution in a day with especially with the properties especially with properties and if you are going to memorize any topic then go their properties just yes. now i am here with non parametric test non parametric test is very important in the context that this uh, non parametric test is an alternative of many parametric tests so in, in questions mcqs when ppsc tests are held or in federal uh, they mostly ask you about which test is an alternative to which test which non parametric test is an alternative of the parametric test so first of all when you are going go through to the non parametric test you will memorize which non parametric test is an alternative of the parametric test so before going to words you have an idea that what is non parametric test non parametric statistics are called distribution free statistics because they are not constrained by assumptions about the distribution of the population non parametric tests are a distribution free test distribution free test hota in some books they may be written that non parametric test follows mild assumptions so if there is an option of mild assumption in a paper you will check it because some assumptions we will follow like that if we have matched there then we use this non parametric test if we have independent test then we used this test so when you are performing test and you do uh, you are doing test and uh, questions comes non parametric test are those tests which are distribution free tests or uh, which are um, uh, follows mild assumptions or uh, then you will click both of them both will be true right next parametric test and non parametric equivalent first of all you memorize this uh, and i printed you or assured you one of these mcq will definitely come in your paper if you have paired t test you know that paired t test are two tests when you have two populations it's mean that when you have two sample sizes n1 and n2 and n1 is, is equal to 10 then n2 must be there if n1 is equal to 100 and uh, n1 is equal to 20 then n2 must be 20 when you have paired t test then you will move towards will coxon rank some test it means that the alternative non parametric test of parametric test is will coxon rank some test is a as an equivalent to paired t test when you have paired observation paired observation and your test is non parametric then you will follow will coxon rank sum test okay jahan uh, where we talk about parametric we will talk about non uh, paired observation we will talk about unpaired observation unpaired observation are those observation or unpaired tests are those tests in which we have two populations n1 and n2 if i have n1 is equal to 10 then n2 will be 8 both n1 and n2 are not equal in unpaired t test both n1 and n2 are equal in paired t test if n1 and n2 are not equal then we will use man whitney u test now the point how you will memorize that uh, man whitney u test is an uh, uh, equivalent non parametric test to unpaired t test come to the point here unpaired the first word is u unpaired u again man with me u test memorize like this unpaired u and man with me u test so you will never forget 
when you have unpaired t-test you will use man whitney u test u u right when you have paired t-test you will use wilcoxon rank sum test you have wilcoxon sign test bhi hota hai aur wilcoxon rank sum test bhi hota hai when you have paired observation you will use wilcoxon rank sum test third test is parametric test is pairs and correlation here we are talking about correlation so our non parametric equivalent is spearman correlation alternative of parametric spears and correlation is spearman rank correlation if we have one way analysis of a variance one way analysis of a variance is used to compare two or more mean if we have one way analysis of variance then we move towards kuskul values test non parametric equivalent to the parametric test is kuskun values test of one way anova now again if you have pair test pair t test and both n1 and n2 are equal then you will use the coxan rank sum test if you have unpaired jules then you will use man whitney u test if you have pairs in correlation test then you will have spearman rank correlation test and if you have one way an analysis of the variance then you will use Kuskul values test and Kuskul values test is very important. Now come to another slide. Non-parametric test. What it does and parametric counterparts. What is it? its parametric counterpart? First come in my previous uh, slide. I wrote Wilcoxon rank sum test. Now I am talking about Wilcoxon signed rank. So both these are different. When you have paired observation. then you will go to the wilcoxon rank sum test right when both n1 and n2 are equal right pair t test and you will move towards wilcoxon rank sum test now i am talking about wilcoxon sign rank test what it does it compares median to specified value compare two dependent medians Paired. As when we are talking about pair, then you will move towards Wilcoxon rank sum test, right? Or when you have not equal to, then you will move towards Wilcoxon sign rank. A pair. Now the parametric counterpart is z test. One sample t test. Here is when you have only one independent sample. Then you one sample. One sample t test. Alternative. non parametric is wilcoxon signed rank test wilcoxon signed rank test is alternative to the one sample t test wilcoxon signed rank test is alternative to the one sample t test and wilcoxon rank sum test is alternative to the paired t test right wilcoxon signed rank test uh, is alternative to the one sample t test and wilcoxon rank sum test is an alternative to the pair t test now man whitney u test now i am talking about man whitney man whitney is unpaired when both n1 and n2 are not equal two independent sample t test right then we have man whitney u test when we have one sample t test then we will use uh, wilcoxon sign rank test when we have paired then we use wilcoxon rank sum test when we have unpaired when n1 and n2 are not equal then we will use man whitney u test right kruskal values is then alternative to the analysis of a variance now when we are going towards parametric side anova is used to compare two or more mean but in non parametric our the mean average we are use is median right median is used for qualitative data basically and uh, so here the average we use in non parametric test is median the average we use in non parametric test is median so compare three or more median kruskal values test is used to compare three or more medians non parametric and a one way analysis of a variance is used to compare two or three means non parametric average is median whereas parametric average is mean you must keep this in mind mind friedman compare three or more median two variables yani ki when we have one anova 
then we use crucible values and when we have two ANOVA, two way ANOVA, then we will move towards treatment analysis. Chi's per test of independence, categorical variable association check with the help of the chi square test of independence and there is no parametric counterpart of this test. Right? Now come to the uh, again criterion measurement. Uh, I already told you that man with the U test is used to test unpaired, right? Independent two sample T tests. Independent T test, Wilcoxon sign rank test is used to compare pair T tests, right? Parametric equivalent test. The school values test is used to compare two or three medians equivalent to the parametric ANOVA. Treatment test two way ANOVA or a repeated measures as Spearman correlation is PSNR. Spearman row. Here row represents correlation. Conclusive, uh, conclusive thoughts I have parametric and non parametric. Here the one main thing is. Central measure for the parametric test is my uh, mean, whereas the central measure for the non-parametric test is median. I already told you this. Right? When you are going to test correlation, if you have parametric, you will use uh, you will use correlation coefficient, experiment for Pearson correlation coefficient, and if you have non-parametric test, you will use Spearman and correlation coefficient. If you have independent measures of two groups, then you will use unpaired then man with me, then you man with me, you test. Independent measures greater than two groups, you will use ANOVA, right? Crucible values test. More than two, you will use treatment test. Repeated measures, you will use Wilcoxon test. And more than two, treatment test. Parameter test, simply. When you are doing one sample mean, one T test, you will use Wilcoxon sign rank test. And sign test, right? I already told you that. When you have two samples, then you have paired sample, you will use Wilcoxon, uh, Wilcoxon sign rank test where, and paired observations have to pass on to your Wilcoxon uh, sign rank test. And when you are unpaired, you will use manual U test. And when you have two mediums to compare, then you will go to the crucible values. Right? Here is the repetition of the previous slide. But in, the main important thing that you must keep in your mind that check Shail Muhammad Chaudhary book of second year you will, or for BS part second, you will found out that Wilcoxon test is of two types. Wilcoxon signed rank test and Wilcoxon rank sum test. When you are going to worse, um, Pair D test, you will use Wilcoxon rank sum test, right? And when you are going towards independent T test, you are going towards Wilcoxon signed rank test. Pair T test for pair T test, Wilcoxon rank sum test for independent, you use Wilcoxon signed rank. Hope this lecture is very useful for all of you. And you, if you learn these slides, you will able to solve your questions perfectly and accurately. I hope this will prove you very best in your future. And in my next slide, I will try to use Kuskul Valley's test. This is also very important. And Kormogov's skin of test. Both these two tests are very important from a um, test point of view. And uh, many questions asked about this. Hope this lecture is very useful for all of you. Thank you very much.